Good morning class. Today, we will explore the world of antimicrobial resistance, a critical issue in healthcare. We'll cover resistance mechanisms such as efflux pumps, gene transfer, beta-lactamus, acquired resistance in HIV, and more. Additionally, we'll discuss strategies to optimize antibiotic use. Let's begin. Bacterial efflux pumps are essential for antimicrobial resistance, removing antibiotics from bacteria. Understanding their mechanisms, like Major Facilitator Superfamily, Resistance Nodulation Division, and ATP Binding Cassette Transporters, is crucial for countering this resistance. In the video, we will discuss horizontal gene transfer, a process where bacteria exchange genetic material, including resistance genes. There are three main mechanisms, conjugation, transformation, and transduction. This spread of resistance genes is a major challenge in fighting antimicrobial resistance. Beta-lactam antibiotics, such as penicillins and cephalosporins, are one of the most widely used classes of antibiotics. However, resistance to these drugs has emerged due to the production of beta-lactamus enzymes by bacteria. Beta-lactamuses can hydrolyze the beta-lactam ring, rendering these antibiotics ineffective. There are several types of beta-lactamuses, including classes A, B, C, and D each with their unique mechanisms of action and resistance profiles. Understanding the molecular basis of beta-lactamus mediated resistance is crucial for developing inhibitors and new beta-lactam antibiotics to combat this form of resistance. Drug resistance in HIV is a major challenge. Antiretroviral therapy, ART, is effective, but HIV can develop resistance through mutations in viral enzymes targeted by drugs. Understanding resistance mechanisms is vital for effective treatment and prevention. Carbapenems are one of the last resort antibiotics used to treat severe infections caused by multidrug-resistant gram-negative bacteria. Unfortunately, resistance to carbapenems has been increasing worldwide, posing a significant threat to public health. Gram-negative bacteria can develop resistance to carbapenems through various mechanisms, such as the production of carbapenemases, modifications in outer membrane porins, and upregulation of efflux pumps. Understanding these mechanisms is crucial for developing strategies to prevent and combat carbapenem-resistant infections. Tuberculosis, TB, remains a major global health problem, with multidrug-resistant, MDR, and extensively drug-resistant, XDR, strains emerging. MDR-TB is resistant to at least isoniazid and rifampicin, while XDR-TB is MDR-TB with added resistance to fluoroquinolones and second-line injectable drugs. Drug resistance in TB develops through genetic mutations affecting drug targets or enzymatic processes. Knowledge of these mechanisms is crucial in combating drug-resistant TB. Biofilms are structured communities of bacteria embedded in a self-produced matrix of extracellular polymeric substances. These biofilms are highly resistant to antimicrobial agents and immune defenses, making infections associated with biofilms challenging to treat. Biofilm-associated resistance is due to several factors, including reduced penetration of antibiotics into the biofilm, expression of resistance genes, and phenotypic changes in biofilm bacteria. Understanding the role of biofilms in antimicrobial resistance is crucial for developing novel approaches to combat biofilm-associated infections. In congida species, resistance to antifungal drugs has become a problem. Resistance can occur through mutations, upregulation of drug efflux pumps, changes in cell membrane sterol composition, and the formation of biofilms. This poses challenges in treating infections, especially in immunocompromised patients. Understanding these mechanisms is important for better management and development of new drugs. Plasmids, mobile genetic elements, play a crucial role in the spread and dissemination of resistance genes among bacteria. Plasmid-mediated resistance can occur through horizontal gene transfer or clonal expansion of resistant strains. Plasmids can carry various resistance genes, such as those encoding extended-spectrum beta-lactamuses, ESBLs, carbapenemases, and methicillin resistance in Staphylococcus aureus. Understanding the spread and dissemination of plasmid-mediated resistance genes is paramount for designing intervention strategies to control and prevent the further spread of antibiotic resistance. Combination therapy and drug repurposing are effective strategies to overcome antimicrobial resistance. They target multiple pathways in the pathogen, making it hard for resistance to emerge. Drug repurposing utilizes known drugs, optimizing treatment outcomes in the face of resistance. Cross-resistance occurs when resistance to one antimicrobial agent confers resistance or reduce susceptibility to other structurally or mechanistically related drugs. This phenomenon is observed in various bacterial, viral, and fungal pathogens and can significantly limit treatment options. Molecular mechanisms of cross-resistance include mutations in target genes, alterations in drug uptake and efflux, or the activation of alternative metabolic pathways. 
Understanding the molecular mechanisms underlying cross-resistance is crucial for predicting, preventing, and managing the emergence of resistance to multiple antimicrobial agents. Antimicrobial stewardship programs aim to optimize antibiotic use, improve patient outcomes, and contain the spread of antimicrobial resistance. These programs involve a multidisciplinary approach that focuses on education, guidelines, and interventions to promote appropriate antibiotic prescribing practices. Strategies employed in antimicrobial stewardship programs include antimicrobial stewardship teams, formulary restrictions, pre-authorization requirements, dose optimization, and active surveillance of resistance patterns. Understanding these strategies and their implementation is crucial for preserving the efficacy of existing antimicrobial agents and preventing the further emergence of resistance. Antimicrobial resistance is a complex problem, with molecular and genetic aspects that need thorough understanding. Staying updated on current research and guidelines is crucial to preserve antimicrobial effectiveness. Thank you and keep exploring this fascinating field.